All right, so today I'm going to do a real quick video on how to change the oil for a uh, BQ35DE engine. Um, this is gonna be from my Nissan 350Z. Um, I've already done an oil change video before, so I'm not gonna go like too crazy. Most oil changes are the same. Um, I'm just basically doing this mostly for location, like where the uh, oil filter and the uh, drain plug are. And so I've already got the car on jack stands, not just <laughs> not just the little scissor jacks, but actual uh, jack stands underneath. Um, I do have other videos, like my starter video for this car, where I show you how I jack it up. So if you want to, just check that video out. And so I've already had the car running for about five minutes. I've given it 30 minutes after to kind of cool down. And so now I'm just going to show you how I drain the oil, change the filter, and get the new oil in. This is the particular oil that I'll be using. Um, it's Valvoline Full Synthetic Advanced 10W30. You could also use 5W30, um, but I'm just using for 10, um, 10W30 for now. It's going to be the full 5 quarts, so you'll need a full bottle. This is unopened. Um, the previous oil change, I actually used Castrol 10W30 Full Synthetic for the high mileage. That one was well too. Right now I'm just kind of going through different oils, trying them out, seeing if I find any differences. Um, so this is the next one on my list. So once you've jacked up the car and you uh, get underneath it, you'll see immediately that the oil pan is right in the front and then the filter is right next to it. So these are actually pretty easy to access once you get the car up. Most people either will or won't have uh, a, like a guard, like a little plastic splash guard. A lot of times that just gets ripped off. I don't even, my car when I bought one didn't come with one. I'm planning on getting maybe like an aftermarket aluminum one or something, but anyways. Okay, so coming out of the car, this is the uh, oil filter, this is the oil pan, and this is the oil cooler. Um, if you ever have a leak, especially coming around from this area, um, try changing the oil cooler o-ring, the o-ring for this. It's usually a cause of the leak, especially if it's coming from around here. When I first got this car, I had a leak around there, um, and I fixed it. The o-ring's like two, three bucks, and it fixed the leak. Um, I'd show you, but I already did it. I did this job before I started making videos so but um, if I ever have to do it again I'll definitely make a video but yeah oil cooler o-ring if you have an oil leak around here we're going to open the damn it, that hurt Let's open the oil filler cap so that you can release like, pressure air can circulate and the oil will flow out easier and after that we'll open the drain plug this right here is a drain plug so we're just gonna open that and the oil will pour into here so you need your drain pan, um, and then after I do that, I'll get to the filter. So if you have an adjustable wrench, then perfect, but if not, um, you're gonna need a 14 millimeter socket, and so that is the size of the actual drain plug. All right, so 14 millimeter onto the drain plug. Oh, did I get it? Or? Yeah, okay, I got it. I was hoping I didn't need a breaker bar. So. If you saw the previous oil change video I did, you saw me screw up and drop the uh, drain plug and get oil all over the place. Well, here I'm going to try to be more careful. What I'm going to do is just let it slowly pour out and then move the plug. So let me try and demonstrate. There we go. So now I'll just let that drain out. I got the plug. I didn't make that much of a mess. Um, I'll clean this plug off and then we'll let the rest of this oil drain out. Damn, I didn't have that much oil. Make sure that you change your oil on time, otherwise your engine could have compression issues or just blow altogether or seize because oil is a very important part. We need to lubricate the engine. You have a lot of metal on metal. Okay, so I'm actually going to keep uh, this drain pan right underneath and very close by. Um, just in case, as soon as I open this, some oil might come out. I'll just have it drop there, and then I can put it either face down in here or just to the side if it's empty, and loosen it by hand. Let me see if I can crack it first. So, I lied, and I can't take this off by hand. It's like on super tight, and it's, luckily I have really cool neighbors. Um, and so this is an oil filter wrench, uh, 65 millimeter to 68 millimeters, and it seems to fit, so I'm going to give this a shot. We'll see. Uh, there we go, so much easier when you have the right tools. 
There we go. So I got it loose. And so I'm just gonna take the rest of it off by hand. Okay, there we go. There's the rest of our oil. So that's all gonna come out. Super gross and nasty. I'm gonna take it out slow. And Okay, there we go. There's the rest of it. There we go. Hopefully you saw all that. I'm going to take the, uh, oh great, I just got my hand in oil. It, or it's just inevitable for me to get dirty and get oil on me. I'm trying to avoid putting this in here, actually, because I do want the oil to drain, but I'm going to put this in a separate little box. I don't want it to be soaked in oil and then make the box all dirty and stuff. Too. going to prepare the new oil filter so this right here is the OEM Nissan oil filter and I got this online I mean Amazon have them it wasn't that expensive it was like maybe six dollars at most um, so this is what I'm going to use and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit of the new oil put it around that gasket maybe put a little bit of new oil in there so it's not dry when I put it in and then uh, just tighten that back on Kind of looks like a laundry detergent cap. This is different.
So that's on pretty tight. So that's well clean, so if I do have any leaks, I'll be able to tell that it's coming from a loose oil filter. Now after that, all that's left to do is pour in the oil. Uh, for this car in particular, it is five full US quarts. So it's gonna be basically this whole container. Um, otherwise, if it's a different car, definitely check your owner's manual, or if you don't have one, just Google it. So we're gonna fill this whole thing in there. So one benefit of changing your own oil is that you become aware of how much oil your car uses. I put in five quarts as you just saw and I got back about one quart. So that means four quarts are gone or burnt or maybe they got spilled through a leak or something. It just lets me know what my car is doing, how often I should change the oil. On this particular oil change I've had about 3,000 miles and so either lost oil through burning or through a leak somehow. Over time all cars will start to burn oil but this one in particular i lost four quarts so maybe i'll change the oil sooner or you know to try to accommodate that so now i'm going to give the car a quick start just to let it run for a little bit and check for any leaks make sure everything's all good Some cars they do have like an oil pressure gauge um, my psi currently is about 60 so i think that's about operating temp um, so i think everything's all good i don't see any leaks and i'm just going to shut it back off and finish the job all right so that was the video on how to change the oil on your nissan 350z a uh, pretty straightforward video, uh, so I hope you found it informational. I hope it helped. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.